Hello class, this video is to give you a background on our next story, which is called The Cask of Amontillado. Please make sure you're following along with this story with the quiz that comes after. You can pause this. Uh, I'm sorry, follow along with this video with the quiz. You can pause this, go back. Um, the quiz that follows is to make sure that you have viewed this so that you have all the information that you need. So a few terms that we need to be familiar with with this story. The first one is carnival. Carnival is a period of public revelry at a regular time each year. It's typically during the week before Lent in Roman Catholic countries. It involves processions, music, dancing, and the use of masquerade masks. You can see those masks here on the picture on the left and the middle. Catacombs. The catacombs are a reservoir of ancient underground burial areas that span the major cities of Europe and other continents throughout the world. Masses of people were buried there in ancient times, but they are never used now except for as a tourist attraction. Important families often had their own catacombs underneath their houses in the city where only their families had access. In this story we are reading, the catacombs under Montressor's house are secluded and private. Um, there's two videos in this PowerPoint about the catacombs. When I tried to play them for my last recording, it did not show them for whatever reason, so I'm going to post the links for those separately. Amontillado. Amontillado is a type of wine or sherry that must ferment in a cool, dark place, such as an underground cellar. One of the characters' names is Montresor. It is Latin for my treasure. Montresor commits a crime, the perfect murder. He also uses flattery and reverse psychology to get his victim to the recesses of his underground vaults. His instructions to his servants demonstrate his mastery of human psychology. He says, I had told them that I should not return until the morning and had given them explicit orders not to stir from the house. These orders were sufficient, I well knew, to ensure their immediate disappearance, one and all, as soon as my back was turned. The coat of arms. So here's a picture of the Montressor coat of arms. The phrase written on it means, nobody harms me without being punished. And that is something that Montressor definitely lived by. The coat of arms contains a heel smash, smashing a serpent's head as it sinks its fangs into the heel. It is symbolic of what happens to Fortunato. Fortunato has wounded Montressor's pride, so that's shown by the snake biting the heel. So Montressor kills Fortunato, which is shown by the heel crushing the serpent's head. Another character is Fortunato. The name means fortunate or lucky. Poe names him this for a reason. He is using verbal irony to get a point across to the reader. Montressor's first words to Fortunato are, my dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. Fortunato thinks Montressor means he is happy to see him because of his expertise. What Montressor means is that is the meeting is lucky because Carnival presents an excellent time for murder. Fortunato's outfit. So Fortunato's carnival garb, as described in the story, is similar to this picture here. The man wore motley. He had on a tight-fitting party-striped dress, and his head was surmounted by con a conical cap and bells. In short, Fortunato is dressed as a fool, a symbolic representation of what he is. And that concludes our background on the cask of Amontillado.